Hello, welcome to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. Previously, we've created a chatbot to manage schedules in Odoo. This time, we'll be creating a voice assistant instead of a chatbot. With voice assistant we can create, remove, and retrieve schedules on Odoo but with voice command instead of typing. For this experiment, we'll create an app for the voice assistant and a custom Odoo module to provide API for the app. I named this voice assistant Frodoo. Before we jump into the codes, let's review briefly on how it works. When the voice assistant app is launched, it will continuously listen to a certain words, we call these words as wake words. This time we'll be using Hey Frodo as the wake words. When it detects wake words, then it starts to record and transcribe the speeches to texts. These texts will be treated as prompt for the AI. If the prompt is about creating, removing, or retrieving schedules then it will execute the corresponding function and create a response based on it. Otherwise it will answer based on how it was trained. The response texts are then converted to speech. Similar with the chatbot version, we'll also be using local AI with Llama.cpp for the AI backend, Hermes 2 Theta for the AI model and Autogen for our AI framework. For speech-to-text conversion we'll be using Open Wake Word, Solero VAD, and Faster Whisper with a modified version of Realtime STT, originally developed by Kalja Beigel. And for text-to-speech conversion we'll be using HTTS developed by Rainy, both are on GitHub. And last but not least, for the GUI we'll be using PyQt6. Please find the links for these tech stack in this video description. Now let's jump into the codes. First we need to create a module to provide API for Frodo app. In Odo we can provide APIs for external app by inheriting HTTP controller class and create methods which decorated with it HTTP.RouteDecorator. This time, we create three methods for creating, removing, and retrieving schedules. To secure these APIs we create a custom authentication method for the API. This way we can use Oda's API key instead of making it public or using username and password pair for the authentication. For Frodo app, the AI part is taken from our previous experiment, the calendar bot with some minor modifications so it can be used in this app. And since most of the works have already been done by the libraries, we only need to create the user interface and wire things up. First, we initialize the configurations and set up the libraries while showing a splash screen. The app has three threads, speech to text, AI, and text to speech. Each thread will emit a signal to indicate it's done processing which then will trigger the next step of the process as mentioned earlier. Thread speech to text activates first, when it detects voice command then it will run process user text method which triggers the AI thread to process the command. Then the response will be sent to thread text to speech. After the AI response is spoken, then it activates the thread speech to text again. Now, let's try it. First we need to install the custom module. Then we create an API key for the authentication as mentioned before. To test the app, I use three different voice sources. While this demonstrates the voice assistant ability to understand different voices, it also shows the lack of voice identification which can be an issue from security point of view. What are my schedules for tomorrow? You don't have any schedules for tomorrow. Create schedule for a meeting with Tony Stark tomorrow starting from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m.
I have created a schedule for a meeting with Tony Stark tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Please log into Odoo to check the schedule. Hey Frodo, clear all my schedules for tomorrow. All your schedules for tomorrow have been successfully cleared. What are my schedules for tomorrow? You don't have any schedules for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss my experiments and tutorials.